Now we have multiple sidings by multiple modes. That is the gold standard. And to believe that we're the only ones, I think, is, is rather ridiculous. In the observable universe, there are potentially hundreds of billions of galaxies, with some scientists suggesting this number could even be in the trillions. Within these galaxies, there exist hundreds of billions of star systems resembling our own, each hosting planets in their orbits. Given this immense cosmic expanse, what are the odds that there isn't another planet teeming with life in some distant galaxy? How likely is it that within this vast and awe-inspiring expanse of space, we find ourselves entirely alone? In today's episode, we are into the quest of finding aliens' life. This is Reveal the Mystery. If you are curious to learn the mystery of the world, space, and beyond, consider subscribing. No matter how challenging it may seem for life to exist and how rare it could be, the vastness of the universe ensures that there should be millions, if not billions, of planets capable of supporting life. You can define various criteria for life, such as temperature, distance from a star, number of moons, presence of water, or the history of asteroid impacts, and purely by chance, numerous planets should meet these conditions. It's reasonable to assume that some of this life would be intelligent enough to reach out to us. After all, the laws governing physics, chemistry, and biology aren't unique to Earth. But if life exists on other planets, if there's nothing special about Earth, then where are all the aliens? This question was first posed by Nobel Prize-winning physicist Enrico Fermi during a lunchtime discussion with colleagues in 1950. Fermi was pondering the existence of spacefaring civilizations. Consider that humans have only been around for a relatively short time, and during our brief existence on this planet, we've already contemplated expanding to Mars or other celestial bodies. It's reasonable to assume that another civilization might have had similar thoughts. If a civilization has been around long enough and has advanced technologically, it should attempt to explore other planets for resources or, at the very least, attempt communication. However, this hypothesis contradicts our current reality, which has provided no evidence of life beyond Earth. This enigmatic silence is known as the Fermi Paradox, highlighting the disconnect between our expectation that the universe should be teeming with life and the apparent absence of any extraterrestrial contact. Although we've long been captivated by the idea of aliens, we've only been actively searching for them for a relatively short period. The Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, CETI, is one of the most renowned organizations dedicated to this quest formally starting in the late 1950s. Its efforts have included sending radio signals into space and listening for signals from potential extraterrestrial civilizations. However, these efforts primarily cover intentional signals. It's important to remember that our technology has been emitting radio waves into space since its inception, including mobile phones, televisions, FM, AM radios, and even the earliest radio transmissions from the late 1800s. Yet, given the immense distances involved in space, our radio signals may not have reached potential intelligent life forms. Even the oldest transmissions from over a century ago would have traveled only a minuscule fraction of the vast cosmic expanse. If our earliest signals were to reach our supposed galactic neighbors today, and if these neighbors were intelligent and capable enough to recognize our existence and respond immediately, it would still take another 100 years for their reply to reach Earth. Unless a breakthrough in physics allows them to exceed the speed of light, we may never know the outcome of our initial attempts to communicate, as most of us would have become distant memories by then. Now. Consider the possibility that life exists not 100 light years away, but perhaps just 50 or even 20 light years away. In such a scenario, extraterrestrial civilizations would have had sufficient time to receive and respond to our signals. So why haven't they? One explanation could be that aliens simply do not exist, but this notion is rather uninteresting. Let's assume they do exist, in that case, why haven't they initiated contact with us? 
To address this question, we can categorize alien civilizations into three levels of advancement. Those less advanced than us, those equally advanced, and those more advanced. If they are less advanced than us, it's likely they lack the technology for communication. Furthermore, for two billion years after life began on Earth, it would have been undetectable to another civilization observing us as the signs they are looking for today may not have existed during that period. Alternatively, they might be equally advanced as we are, leading them to hesitate in contacting us out of uncertainty regarding what they might encounter. This notion aligns with Stephen Hawking's caution that contacting alien life could be perilous, as they may exploit Earth's resources, carry diseases we cannot combat, or harbor colonial intentions. The third possibility is that these aliens possess significantly superior intelligence and have lost interest in humanity. This might be a tough concept to accept, considering our human-centered perspective. However, in a universe teeming with life, we may be of little interest to them. They might view us as insignificant, much like how we pass by countless ants every day without giving them much thought. On a more cynical note, they might not have visited us because they prefer observing from the shadows rather than making direct contact. The Dark Forest hypothesis suggests that the universe is populated by cunning civilizations that avoid contacting others and instead observe quietly. This theory suggests that just because we haven't been contacted doesn't necessarily mean nobody is listening. However, it's also possible that these aliens have visited us already. David Grouch, a former intelligence officer, testified under oath in 2023 that a highly secretive UFO recovery program in the US government had retrieved non-human biologics. While skepticism is essential and extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, the lack of evidence doesn't rule out the possibility of multiple alien spacecraft visiting Earth. If one has reached us, then many more might have as well. A government cover-up can only be effective up to a certain point, especially when dealing with a civilization that is far more advanced than us. So, returning to our initial question, where are the aliens? and why haven't we encountered them more frequently? One widely accepted theory is the Great Filter. This represents a hurdle in the development of a civilization, typically leading to its extinction. It could take various forms, such as asteroid impacts, massive volcanic eruptions, incurable viruses, runaway artificial intelligence, or self-destruction. The idea is that most civilizations that go through this Great Filter do not survive. If this theory holds, it would explain the great silence, the apparent absence of advanced extraterrestrial civilizations in the universe. Our civilization might be one of the exceptions that have successfully passed this cosmic test. However, this perspective only makes sense if we assume that we have already navigated the great filter. What if it lies ahead of us rather than behind us? Asteroid impacts, nuclear annihilation, devastating viruses, and runaway artificial intelligence all remain potential threats that could wipe out humanity in the future. Therefore, the Great Filter might still be ahead of us, and our existence might be due to the fact that we have yet to encounter it. In essence, the Fermi Paradox and the search for extraterrestrial life raise profound questions about our place in the universe and how special or insignificant we might be. Our human-centered curiosity has driven us to seek answers, but it may come at a cost. As Stephen Hawking suggested, the pursuit of contact with extraterrestrial life could be a perilous endeavor. Perhaps the Great Filter isn't a catastrophe waiting to happen, but rather a challenge we actively seek. Our curiosity could be both a blessing and a curse as we explore the vast unknown of space. Ultimately, the mystery of where the aliens are and why they haven't made more overt contact continues to captivate our collective imagination. The answers may remain elusive, but our quest for understanding continues. <laughs>